What to do everybody, I'm Jay Guy with a quick video. Yeah, I get murdered in this game, it's called Toxic on the PC. Anyways, so from the Windows event they had this recently, you know, for those that follow game, gaming and just tech in general, I'm noticing that I'm seeing more people or fans of a certain platform, say the Xbox, all of a sudden now they're becoming these computer engineers, tech analysts, motherboard creators, software, superior, elitists with a PhD. Like now all of a sudden everybody knows everything about technology in the PC realm when some people say the PC is irrelevant, but all of a sudden now they're fans of Windows 10, right? Even though it's for the computer. But anyway, besides all that, some things I, take away, I took from the actual event was this. Although some things do sound pretty cool, like the Luma Room, all that, that, that seems pretty cool. Um, the idea of being able to stream games from your Xbox to your PC, that sounds cool. But if I can't use more hardware to upscale or bring the game to a higher, higher frame rate or resolution, I really don't see a point in it. And for me being a PC gamer and console gamer, for me, be, for me wanting to play a game for the console on my PC, is a downgrade that's like going from, you know that's like going from watching a uh, a movie on blu-ray and then watching it on vhs it's just nah it ain't gonna happen um i'm not really gonna gonna do that but even then um some people threw the ideas well maybe we could play the pc games on the xbox why would a pc gamer want to do that let me take my game that's four at 4k or 1080p running it at 120 frames on a 144 hertz monitor and play it on my TV. Yeah, the TV's bigger, you know, but the game's gonna be downscaled. I mean, if these con if the console came and handled that said game at 60 frames solid, why would I wanna take my experience from the PC and put it on a console? That makes absolutely no sense. But, I mean, some people might wanna do that, try to see what it's like, hey, that's fine, but I'm not gonna downgrade my game experience from one platform or another. That sounds kind of con kind of contradictory of or I can't say the word right. <laughs> I seem kind of like an hypocrite saying that or contradicts what I'm trying to say because I have a PS Vita TV, a PS TV as well. But I bought that knowing what was going to happen when I streamed my PS4 to that system. I have it in my bedroom. My PS4 is in my living room, so sometimes I don't feel like going downstairs to go in front of the actual PS4 and playing my games. But that thing costs 100 bucks. I expected to do that. I knew it was going to do that. But be able to have my play my PC games on my Xbox? Nah, I don't think so, man. PC gamers aren't really into that. But the their X12 coming out, yeah, it's gonna help the console out and things like that. But it's not gonna be, it's not gonna help it out, help it out in leaps and bounds like some people may think it is. It's just it's not gonna do it. I mean, just not. Just some of you guys just gotta live with and deal with. It will shine more on the PC with video cards, things like that nature, not on a console. And it's something that's also closed. You can't change anything in there. So, hate to be the uh, bearer of bad news, but it is what it is.